fix my TV today. We're going to show you what's involved in swapping out a panel display. Give you enough volts, eh? <laughs> <laughs> So I guess the first step is to remove all the screws. <laughs> all 24 of them. 24, eh? Yes, sir. Ah. What, are they star or are they special or? They're uh, three different sizes. Some are machine, some are self-tapping, some are machine large. Ah. Different sizes. And of course, they're not interchangeable. Really isn't much to the inside of the TV, eh? Not a whole lot. So is that, 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 what's that? That the main board? That's the power supply. That, this whole board here is the power yes, supply? Sir. Okay. What about that other board on this the... This is the line that drives the uh, LEDs. This huh. is called the main board. Oh, the main board. What does that do? Is that just part of your That's, video? That does everything. Oh, okay. Signal processing. Audio so if you like, say you lose half your picture, that's what would be the culprit usually? Yes. Yeah. It would be the main board, eh? Yes. It's funny because when I was a little kid, I used to take apart little robots and stuff. <laughs> so. It's a lot of fun. So your guys experience with these TVs, are they pretty prone to last a good long time or are they pretty prone to failure like the LCDs? They last a very long time. This is the, the leading edge of technology. Oh really? So this is rare what's going on there with this TV, eh? Very unusual. Wow. Originally I thought it was magnetic problems like from like motors or something nearby but it, well, it didn't change though. So. No. This, the pixel driven technology does not have what you're describing as purity issue on CRT sets. Oh, this okay. is totally different. Totally not affected by uh, by the ma magnetism. You have pliers? Yes. The yeah, nib has to come out. That's for this board. Thank you. What's that piece there? That's LEDS cable. This connects your motherboard to the video card that drives the panel. Oh, okay. Cool. That's, that's, that's like a video card and a computer type deal? We call that timing control, TCON. Just oh. like that, yes. Oh. Almost. Is that a speaker you have in your hand? That's one. And this is two. Hey, kitty. Thanks for helping out, dude. Well, so basically, this whole metal piece is the, is the screen. Yes, so basically, all you do is just gonna transfer all the parts over the new Absolutely. screen. So there's really nothing you can do to repair the actual Problem, pixels. No. Yeah. This is a complete tear down of the TV. <laughs> Look at that. What's that? That's just a data cable? That's the multi-connector cable that connects the 
main board to the, uh, the timing. Control assembly. And those are just the brackets to hold the TV up, right? That's it. Wow. So is this this video card here, this thing here, you have that come with the new panel? Yes. Or, so yeah. that's a whole that's included in the that's panel. Included in the panel. Oh, okay. Timing control. Wow. Oh, dude. Do, do they actually sell the the plastic piece on the outside too, or like? It's available. For this model. Oh, there's no protective screen on there? That's just, oh, that's hollow? Oh. Yeah, it's the, Do you want me to move that out of the way to help you guys? Nope. No, no, we're good. Okay, so that all this is just a plastic frame. I thought there was a glass piece in front of it. No, that's built get, into the... Get, get the fingerprints from... Yeah. Okay, so there goes the top panel. And here's the new one. Nose first. And just pop it back in the plastic frame and I guess put all the stuff back on it. Metal. <laughs> you roll it a Now you gotta put on the support brackets. Mm -hmm. Wow, you guys glued this job up in 10 minutes and get out of here. <laughs> here we could spend a couple of hours. No, that's just quick how fast you guys are doing this. If you blink your eyes, it's like. This is not our first day on the job. No, no, I'm sure you've done hundreds of these things. Hands on training. On the job training, teamwork, everything plays a role. Wow. So I guess if you get any, according to this, you get any scratches on the screen, you're pretty much done because it's all one unit. You, 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 there's no protective screen or anything. No. It protects it, so. The protective thing is the actual. Like I used to have a rear projection and it had a plastic screen over it that protected it. Uh -huh. In case you know the cat yeah. or any animals jumped on. That, that diffused the picture too. Yeah. As well. It had stuff built into it. This is different technology altogether. I've got a question for you guys about color bin and a lot of people ask me like on the forums we're talking about when you watch videos like DVD or Blu-ray, especially Blu-ray, mm -hmm. you get dark scenes, you know, and, and you know sometimes the uh, colors of the sky, like the dark yeah. You'll see separation in bands. Like it doesn't quite blend perfect. Mm -hmm. Is that just part of the, the TV design or is that just the way they record in Hollywood? We can't comment at this point. Oh, you guys don't know? No, we don't. It's. Oh. You can't comment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why is there a secret conspiracy behind it? <laughs> I'm just curious because I've always tried to adjust the settings on my TV and my video card mm -hmm. to try to get the best quality picture I could, right? Because like my home theater is just whole liver. Right? Yeah. So you guys got any tips to to reduce color banding or is it just part of the product? Don't know. <laughs> Can't comment. Okay. <laughs>
It's like, who killed JFK? No. <laughs> Can't comment. <laughs> Can't comment. Yeah, I guess you gotta keep those screws in order. Eh? So many of them, you gotta get these track of what goes where. Yes, different sizes, different lengths. See, look at the kitty. Oh yeah, she loves me just. She's so relaxed. If there was a box, she'd lay in it. She loves boxes. Look at that. It's sticking. Okay, so if I that buy that board, if I plug in my HDMI cable and some weird reason I don't get a good signal out of one port, mm -hmm. that's the board that's in charge of yes that. So that could either that or the cable or your source. There's always three possibilities. Yeah, but if you know that your source is fine, then mm -hmm. you got nothing going on in that input. I guess that that would be the board that would be replaced. Yeah. So typically, either they work or they don't. Oh, there's no halfway? Yes. I have never yet seen one that would allow. Well, I, I purchased a uh, extended four-year on this because mm -hmm. this thing cost me over $2,000. So I, can, I thought, you know, <laughs> I can't afford to buy another one tomorrow. So mm -hmm. and warranty cost me $500. So it extended. So. It's the best top-of-the-line product. Well, this is the best product on the, on the market? Yes, sir. Really? Don't like, well, they have 4K Ultra now, don't they? Like the TVs? Mm -hmm. So there are better TVs than this, but... There are different TVs. Yeah. This has got the 3D in it, too, so... 3D. Yeah, you wear these passive glasses and... Things pop, pop right out of the screen on you. Have you had any 3D experience? Yeah. I got a whole bunch of movies on Blu-ray. Like yeah. the documentary movies and yeah, you got the fish coming right out in the living room. Like it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Is that what's that little wire you're hooking up there? That white wire. This here is actually a ribbon. Oh, no. oh cable? That, the guy over there. That little oh, wire. this is an um, antenna for your uh, wireless hub. Oh, okay. Is that for like ambient sensors and stuff? No, that's the actual antenna. This is your Wi-Fi. Oh, okay, gotcha. Transceiver. Oh, okay, that, that's okay. That makes sense. <laughs> I don't use the Wi-Fi features on here, the media stuff. I just, ugh. I've got my computer directly hooked in, so I don't need to access any of that. Makes things simpler. Oh, yeah. So what do you think, Becca? Pretty neat, eh? Mm -hmm. See inside the TV. Mm -hmm. Now that black wire, is that also Wi-Fi? Which? The one he's yep. putting on there too? So two Wi-Fi antennas, eh? Yeah, two antennas. You can see one from here, one from there. Oh, okay. What are those cables for? This is for the keyboard. This one here. Yeah. Keypad. Oh, and okay. the other one goes to the uh, remote uh, receiver as well as the on-off LED. Yeah. And that one you're plugging in? What's that do? That's just the power? That's the power supply for the backlights. Oh, okay. And this is the power supply for the main board. Right there. Ah. These are the speaker wires. Right, Kitty? This is yours. That one is mine.
So the, the good old days of actually desoldering units on the board are over. Like if the board's dead, you just get a whole new board and put it in there. Eh? Correct. Yeah, I remember a long time ago when I was growing up, they used to actually solder those things and fix them. Like mm -hmm. the technology. Mm -hmm. But now... There's, there are some things you can do. There's still some rare instances where we do on component level repairs. Ah. Do you guys do like stereos and stuff too? Amps? Not Subwo anymore. Subwoofers? Not anymore. Ah. Hmm. Do it later. This goes down one, yeah. Yeah. So I was asking. This is the bracket that holds the uh, AC cord. Oh, okay. Yeah, this would be quite hard to explain in a manual. <laughs> I better just to film it. Not like I'm going to be doing this to my own TV, but you know. It's a piece of cake. Maybe somebody might, you know, try to attempt this at home. How <laughs> much good? We got two, four, and then we got the back screws. We're good? Yeah. Trial? Yes. That's a kind of skimpy power cord, eh? Hooked no, up that board? No, no. That's a two stage thing. See, it's secure to the cover. Plus, uh -huh. this is very good. It does the job. Cool. Now you're just going to do a, a, what they it call a pole, locks in place. pole test? Yeah, I want to make sure it's all good. Okay, you, you need see my this doesn't just pull out. Oh, okay. Do you guys need my remote to turn it on? Or? No, sir. How can you tell it's working? It'll oh. blow through here. See? Oh, cool. Take a look. Ready, one, two, and. See that? HDMI 4. Oh. Cool. You like it? Yeah, it looks good. Watch this. It's the power's gone. <laughs> that stays in place. Do we have to we can't feed it fit through? it in the so. Oh you'll feed it through the other one. Alright. Here we go. Let's cover it. Where's the kitty? Where's our helper? There she is. I think because you didn't record the original. That's it. You didn't record when we took it off the original panel. Oh, okay. okay. Clearly this panel, uh, this bracket is used for multiple models. So that's to hold the screw on to yeah. line it up right yeah. now. Okay, we're good. Is that better? No. Nope. It's upside down then. I don't think so. Yeah, you guys took it off the side panel, right? I mm -hmm. recorded that when you, you took the, yeah. the one off. Okay, so they figured out how to get that power supply back in there, so. Which is a good thing. <laughs> was, it, was it upside down? Yeah, upside down. Oh, okay. Now, what are we going to do? We're oh. being filmed. We're a little nervous. <laughs> yeah, we're shaking. Yeah. Oh, I, pre I appreciate you guys doing this, you know. I'm sure if we'd have known anybody would have stopped and had a few beers before. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> anybody would be interested in watching this, you know, who knows. Maybe I'll show this to my daughter when she comes down. So that's pretty much it guys, so just put all the screws back in and you're pretty much done. So Yes sir. What are you guys gonna do with the old panel? Just throw it in the garbage? Mm -hmm. <laughs> throw it in the river? No, we ship it back. The old panel goes back to Sony. Oh, oh they may actually be able to reuse some of the stuff in this, eh? Maybe? Or refurbishing. Facility out of town. Ah. Well, I can see this. This probably comes apart somehow, and they could probably go inside and work on it. I guess. Hmm. E. Yeah. 
You want me to clear off that table for you guys, or? Oh, we'll get it. So. Okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Look at that. So there you go, guys. If you guys have a problem with Sony product, they're really amazing. It took them less than a week and a half to get here to fix it. Uh, I sent some pictures in to Sony to show the, the screen problem and they, they got right on it within like 10 minutes. I replied to my email and sent, a per sent, sent the uh, screen order to fix this at home. So I thought originally I had to put this in the box, ship it back. <laughs> That's what I thought. I didn't know they'd come to the house to do this. So We come to the house. So it's good to know if anybody's got like a Sony product that's like big, that they'll service this in your home. So that's that's a good warranty. And they never gave me any troubles, any hassles with the uh, question in the screen damage or the whatever, the wobbly lines. So mm -hmm. I guess we're gonna have to test her out and see how she looks. So there you go, guys. That's how you uh, swap out a panel for a 70 inch Sony. Just thought I'd record that. They are nice enough to let me record it to show you guys online how it's done. So, uh, if you have a Sony TV, they're pretty good with their warranty. They'll come over and repair it as quick as they can. So anyway, thank you for watching Jack of All Trades. Please subscribe, leave a comment, and look for more videos to come. Have a good day, guys.